In this lesson, we do some problem solving using the guess and check method. Example one, Julia is four years older than Lissy, who is two years older than Peter. Together, their ages add to 20. And we're asked to find the age of each person. Now, what we do with guess and check often is we start with the youngest or the smallest, okay? So start with their guess. And looking at that information, we can see that the youngest is Peter. And then Lissy and Julia involved as well. So let's have a guess. Let's guess for Peter's age. What about six? Now, Lissy, through the information, we read that Lissy two years older than Peter. So if Peter's six, then Lissy would be eight. Julia is four years older than Lissy. Okay, got Lissy as eight, so Julia must be 12 years old. Now, together their ages add to 20. So in other words, we've got to add these up and see if we get 20. Well, when we add them up, we get 26. So we're a little bit high. That's okay. We're pretty close. Our next guess then, okay, if we're a little bit high, let's guess a little bit lower. So let's say Peter was five. Going through our information, Lissy, two years older, would be seven. And Julia, four years older than Lissy, would be 11. All right, we need to add them to get to 20. Let's see how we go. Adding them, we get 23. Not quite right, but we're getting close. I'm sure we'll get it next time. We need to adjust our guesses just down a little bit. So let's say Peter was four. Lissy, two years older, would be six. And Julia, four years older than Lissy, would be 10. Okay, they need to add to 20. Oh, this is looking good. Let's add these numbers up. And yes, we get 20. Okay, let's give ourselves a tick. So, find the age of each person. Make sure that's all our working done. Make sure we write our answer in sentence form there. We can say Peter, Lissy, and Julia. Four, six, and ten. So let's write Peter is four, Lissy is six, and Julia is ten. Okay, so a nice clear answer there at the end of our working. Terrific. The next example the sum of two numbers is 20, and their product is 84. We need to find the two numbers. Okay, I guess one. If the sum of two numbers is 20, in other words, the two numbers add to give 20, well, the, probably the two easiest numbers I can think of is 10 and 10. All right, stick with some easy numbers and then we'll work our way around it. Now, because 10 plus 10, of course, is 20. Now, their product is 84. Now, product means to multiply. So we're using 10 and 10. We, if we multiply 10 and 10, we get 100. Okay, we don't quite get the 84. All right, so not quite right, but probably on the right track. Our second guess, what about two numbers that add to 20? What about 9 and 11? Okay, 9 plus 11 equals 20. Now their product is 84. Well, let's see the product of these. What's 9 times 11? Well, 9 11s are 99. We need to get 84. So, hmm, we didn't get much closer that time, did we? So our third guess now, Two numbers add to give 20. What about 8 and 12? 8 plus 12 equals 20. Now their product is 84. Well, let's see. 8 times 12, that's the product of these numbers. And 8 times 12 is 96. Okay, 96 compared to 84. We're getting closer, but still not quite right. Our fourth guess. Oh, I've got a good feeling about this one. Two numbers add to give 20. Let's try 6 and 14. Right, 6 and 14 add to give 20. What about their product? Well, 6 times 14, we calculate that. Can you do that in your head? Uh, maybe not. If you can't, you could actually think of 6 times 7 times 2. Okay, 14 is 7 times 2. You go 6 sevens are 42 and double that. We get 84. And 84, yes, that's the one we wanted. So we've got the two numbers. Let's just put a little rectangle around that. That's our, our fourth guess was the uh, one we got right. The two numbers are 6 and 14. Let's write that in. The two numbers are 6 and 14.